Jordan decided to release another taxi colorway, but this time it is majority all black. Today here we have the Air Jordan 12 Black Taxi. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sneakers and Chris. I'm back here with another video for you guys here today and of course we have an on foot so make sure to tune in throughout the whole video so you guys can see how these look on foot. But before we start on this video, I just want to say thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. If you guys do enjoy this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the family if you haven't yet. If you want to stay connected with me, my socials will be on the screen and down below in the description box. I do have my own clothing brand so if you guys want to support that, it'll come a long way. A follow will come a long way. The Instagram is at um, tapping305 website www tapping305.com and as of right now you guys will be seeing a clip of what we do have in store for the clothing brand but besides that let's get straight into these taxis Boop. Hey guys so start with the box as we always do first so first off we have our Jordan 12 box we have the lid in a brown color you have the jump in in black you have this side and in, in black and you have the wording on the box saying quality inspired by the greatest player ever right here and then we have on this side, you see a jump in on this side. And then where the label at is how the label looks. I'll insert a screenshot so you guys can see a little clearer just in case the lighting is too much. But I'll also read it for you guys. The label reads Air Jordan 12 Retro Black Taxi 9.5 Men and Woman. It will be an eight, um, 11. And the style code is CT80131071. And as you open the box, you see the brown paper wrapping. Then after that, it should be the shoe itself. Now we done with the box, let's jump straight into the shoe and talk about some details. So first off, this shoe released today, Saturday, December 3rd, at retail of $200. We did have a full family size one with GS and preschool. And before we dive into the color and the material, I just want to say, just in case you guys didn't know, Jordan been having the word, the colorway, taxi, and is in their lineup for many, many years. We've seen it with the 12s, we've seen it with um, some 1s, and we've seen it with um, some Jordan 8s. We've seen it with a couple different silhouettes, but we've seen it a lot with the Jordan 12s. We have reverse taxis, we had the OG taxis, um, we had the royalty taxis. We've seen it a lot lately in the Jordan 12, and I feel like it's one of the favorites, to be honest. Um, it looks this one looks pretty nice that all black look with a hits of gold looks um pretty good I, I wouldn't say a hits of gold. I'll just say a hits of that taxi yellow But one thing I'll do say I was comparing with, with I was comparing it with the university goals that I have the material is totally different You have the upper and the new buck material right here all the upper and the new buck. I'm not I'm not too sure if you guys could tell by the video But you have this upper all around the shoe and like a new buck material and then the university goes it's not that same new buck material, I'll definitely say. It's more of a tumble letter of um, the, um, the University Go. Oh, but yes, and then besides that, you have the lizard um, skin right here, um, look alike right here, and also as well in the inside as well right here. have the famous part of the Jordan 12 Jumpman right here and that taxi yellow matching the eyelids in that taxi yellow and you do have some more taxi yellow on the tongue on the Jumpman right here and as you could um and as well the tongue is the same material as um the upper of the shoe that new buck material going down the tongue you do have two you do have two going down the tongue and two and three going down the tongue right here and you have your laces your rope laces in black and then besides that, so you have the midsole in black and push into the outsole. You have the outsole in the mainly pure black. You can see in that taxi um, colorway. You have the jump in right here and that taxi colorway. And you do have the hits of 23 right here and that taxi colorway. Now let's go to the back of the shoe. You have the back of the shoe um, with a black tab um, with um, the jump man in yellow. 
and then you do have written down Jordan and as well behind the under the Jordan you have quality inspired by the greatest player ever the same thing that's on the box same thing that's right here and we always have that in our Jordan as well and then you have the hits of um, taxi and 23 right here Moving into the insole of the shoe, you have the insole in black, the sock liner in black. The only thing at that inside of the shoe is the yellow, that um, yellow, yellow taxi is the jumping inside. And besides that, you have the sizing tag information behind your tongue. And to be honest, that's pretty much it with the coloring and the material of the shoe. And we're gonna go straight into rating. To be honest, this shoe doesn't look too bad. That all black with the hits of ta um, yellow taxi do stands out a lot. I do say that for sure. And my rating for this, will, I'll give it a solid eight. I feel like this is a shoe a lot of people could wear. Um, easy to match. Um, it's an all black shoe. You can't go wrong with an all black shoe. So if you if you feel like you're missing a Jordan 12 and like an all black colorway, this one you could go ahead and get it. But if you feel like you don't really care about it, I wouldn't I wouldn't really suggest to get it. Um, this isn't a, this isn't a shoe that's really 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 too hype to me. I feel like the taxi thing. It died down to me. I don't really get crazy over it compared to the old, um, like the middle school days when the um, Taxi 12 was coming out. Uh, I was I was going crazy over them, but compared to now, it's it's whatever. It's just another Jordan 12 in the rotation, and that's pretty much it, in my opinion. Don't forget to comment below how you guys feel. Comment your opinion and comment your rating. Now that we're done with the rating, let's jump straight into sizing just in case you guys never had a Jordan 12. Um, you guys can go true to size. I think true to size should be perfectly fine. These fit perfectly fine with true to size. This nine and a half feel pretty good in my feet, and it's not too bad. Um, I wanna say Jordan 12 is the best comfortable Jordans out there, but it's not bad. You can you can go true to size if you like. If you want some more room, you can go up, but I think true to size should be fine. But besides that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the um foot. If you guys did, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. The Sneakers and Chris, I am out.